Hey YouTubers, I'm back again. Like I said in the last video, this is Evening Master K Triple Nine. Just to let you guys know if you haven't seen my videos. Um, like I said in the last video, this video will be in fact my art box collection. Yes. Um, I could say that this is a video response to B Dub the Anime Master's favorite art box collection videos. So I will uh link this video to his videos if uh, he allows it. So, let's start off with, I won't open it just like the last one because um, these two I already showed. Uh, well, the first one, we're doing alphabetic order. Bakken and Tess, the limited edition chipboard art box. So you got the front, spine, oh, sorry, spine, and back. Got uh, the top. Alright, so that's Bakken and Tess. The next one in the order we're going to do is you got the Black Cat Chip Board Art Box. Um, this ain't the second one. This is the original one. You guys probably know what the second one is. It's like a planting one that B-Dub has. So here's the front, the spine, the back. Right? Yeah, that would be right. Um, here's the top. The base is not something to look at, but yeah, base. Alright, let's take it out the cases. First up, you got Black Cat Volume 1, the cat out of the bag. There's the back. Inside of the case, nothing special. That's Volume 1. Volume 2 is missing, so we got a filler box. Volume 3 is missing. Volume 2 and 3, 4, 5, and 6. Well, except for 4. I don't own, and I didn't, because Bright Stuff didn't have it. They only had 1 and 4. So here's Volume 4. Inside, nothing special. And back. Volume 4 is called The Cat's Tail. Volume 5, filler box, and Volume 6, filler box. Why I got filler boxes? So that I don't damage the art box. You. I showed it to you when uh, I did the unboxing for this video. Uh, there's black spaces in there. Those are filler boxes. Alright, next one I believe would be Burn Up Scramble. The limited edition art box for volume A. Here's the spine. Oh, Burn Up Scramble. Alright. Take the slip cover off. You can see the back there. It did have these lovely ladies on it. Alright, so got volume A right here. Burn up scramble. This is the reverse cover here. Here's the inside. Got the info sheet. that. Let me take the disc out. That's what the cover was supposed to look like. I just decided to flip it. Now there was uh, magnets to this set. Why That's why it's limited. Um, they're on my fridges. My inside fridge and my outdoor fridge. Alright. There's the... Let me show you a bigger, bigger picture. Here's the one I have on the outdoor fridge because they're in their bikinis. And on the indoor fridge, I have this picture here. Yeah. So this is uh, the filler box for volume B and C. So if I ever get B and C, I don't plan anytime soon, but I have to get um, the series prior to this, like burn up, and then the other series along the line so I can watch Burn Up Scramble because Burn Up Scramble is a spin off series. Next is the Coyote Ragtime Show, this steel uh, tin art box. Alright, so you open it. Now, these are not in the original cases. If you want to see them in the original cases, check out my birthday unboxing. So, volume one, Foxtrot. Back, I won't open the DVD cases, there's nothing special. So yeah, volume uh, one, Fox Truck. 
volume two, uh, cliffhanger, and volume three, called Fall from Graceland. There's the inside of the tin, nothing special. Well, this here is the info sheet that used to be been right here on the back. Yeah, right there. I keep it and I put it right where you saw it. Right there. Alright, so you put volume 3, 2, and 1 in there and it fits nice and good in this nice steel uh, tin art box. Alright, next I would say is Eureka 7 Special Edition Box Set 3. Here's the front. Oh, sorry, spine. And there's the back. And there's the front, uh, the top. You open this, and you get a t shirt. You get volume two of the manga. And you get volume three of the DVD. Next is Eureka 7. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm, Eureka 7 Limited uh, Special Edition Volume 9. So there's the front, there's the spine, and there's the back, and there's the top. Inside, you get a t shirt, you get uh, Volume 6. The last volume of the series, unless you count the prequel, which is volume one and two, which isn't the one I have. And then you got volume nine, the DVD. Alright. Next up would be my Gantz Season 2 art box. Here's the front. Here's the back. There's the spine. I'm sorry. Spine. And there's the top. Inside you got volume seven. Volume eight. Volume nine. And volume ten. So that's uh, the entire season two. And something fell. Something that was originally on the back. Which now I put right here. Next up will be Peach Girl, the complete entire series. Yes, Peach Girl, Super Bot. Mm, I don't know if that's too dark. Hey, that's perfect. So here's Peach Girl. There's the all the spines. There's the back, and here's the spine, uh, the main spine. Here's the top. Yeah, the top. The bottom is nothing special. Pure white. All right, let's kick out this series. Sorry about that, guys. Volume 1. Volume 2. Volume 3. Volume 4. Volume 5. Volume 6. An original info card that was on the back of it. So, yeah, I got the entire Pichu collection. And you guys probably wondering... Why did I get all of Peach Girl? And why didn't I get all of Black Cat? Well, the thing is, is that Right Stuff only had Volume 1 and 4. And Right Stuff had Volume 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
and volume two they didn't have, but I bought volume two first. So um, that's how I got the entire series. Last but not least, this will be the last one I'll show in this video is Project Blue Earth SES. Um, the entire six episode series, they are an hour long piece, that's why they're on three DVDs. So you got volume one, volume two, volume three. There's the spine, and the spine, you can see uh, the, the picture goes and connects to all sides. There's the top. The bottom is nothing special. Alright, that's it for today. I will not post any more videos. Alright, peace out YouTubers and have a blast.